Please hungry. Please hungry. Are you hungry? Fish. Fish poisson. If you love fish, please stay tuned. Chopped onion, chopped tomatoes, chopped green pepper. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite, favorite, sweetest girl, Crystal Tange. So I welcome you all back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by this piece, my name is Crystal Tange. I'm a Cameroonian content creator filming from Douala. I'm a travel and lifestyle vlogger. I do tips on relationship and love, on dressing, like how to match this and that, how to come out with affordable but cute combos, and then uh, on some etiquettes, yeah, and some recipes. Like what we'll be doing today, today. See guys, I know you, you're you're used to seeing this fan already, but I just can't help it. Worst of it all, as I prep everything to start filming, our almighty Eneo. NAO to current. I'm filming with no current. My battery. Eh, <laughs> now miracle could take end this end this video. So guys, please, I want you to go through this video with me. Enjoy this. I think this meal. What I'm doing today, I'll be doing the pot roasted fish, the famous pot roasted fish. This video I'm doing today is on request from I think three subscribers because during my I think it was a Christmas vlog what my family of six I'll link up the video here what my family of six ate for Christmas I think one of the meals I did was this fish and I think three of my subscribers reached out to me asking for the recipe and procedure and all and all that so honestly this video has been long overdue since Christmas so you can imagine i've been procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating so i decided that today come rain come shine come cold come in a year or not in a year i was going to film this video and here we are so guys stay tuned to the very end of this video i'm going to put out the spices and the procedure on how to come up with this excellent please fish. please please know. please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button for you leave because i don't know why you watch i don't want to subscribe like why it's free guys it's very very free and it means a lot to us like we do we put in so much financially and then with time too and so the most we can request from you guys is just to subscribe and share so please guys do make sure you watch this video to the end you subscribe you share Drop beautiful comments. Let's get into the video of the day. First off, I'm going for spices and everything that's needed to do this fish. See ya. Little. Le okay, guys. So there you have our spices. Okay. Let me start with the basic. Here is the secret the main ingredients to this famous famous meal so guys here you have the fish spice itself so i don't know its combination to be very honest with you but normally just get it from the market basically in Bamenda market you just say i want um, fish spice they'll give you this and this this is the magic combo to the fish for it to really give um, a good finishing and good taste you have to add a, a bit of white pepper and the normal one sachet uh, uh, bongo spice this is just to add color like if you want your pot roasted fish really dark you get the bongo spice 
so here we have our ginger leaves and we have our bay leaves this gives it good flavor guys really good some good flavor here we have our salt normally and maggi cubes to taste here we have our secret it's a cameroon spice they call secret it is used it has a, it comes in chicken flavor comes in beef flavor and then it comes in fish so we'll be using fish just one sachet and then we have some jangsa some jangsa too is needed to add to this melange to add to this combination okay mm, yeah a fish all like so much oil is needed then now after our sauce to our after our green sauce i just have this combination of green spice we have our onion we have our pepper because normally we need pepper sauce so we have the green sauce and we have the pepper sauce we have our green pepper and then we have some carrots for garnishing tomato for garnishing the green pepper tissues for garnishing and some onion so for garnishing so for our complement you can either have this with um miyondo it's a com it's made out of cassava it's a cameroonian meal too we have some plantains to be fried turned dodo and we have bobolo so basically this is all we'll be needing for our fish for our pot roasted fish hey guys so now let's get into the preparation of our spices so you slice the fish not proper not really slicing like you do this little little demarcation <laughs> i don't really know how yeah like you do this so this is to enable our spices our salt and our maggi to get into the fish and really make it taste properly so guys let me finish doing this and i'm on the next step i'll get back see you so here we have our salt and maggi mixed i'm not i'm going to now apply it on the fish for it to taste apply it in all the little little cuts you make because you want it to taste properly So this solely depends on how much salt and maggi you consume or your household consumes. If it's very little, then normally you know which quantity to put. If it's averagely, like my household, you know which quantity to put. So guys, what do you think about the... <laughs> just a random topic though that just came to my mind. The Algerians complained, cries left and right concerning <laughs> our victory. I'm sure by now, if you are a fervent follower of this YouTube channel, you must have noticed that your girl is a football fan. Not generally, generally football fan like that, Sha, but I'm just a lover of my national team, the indomitable Lions of Cameroon. So, I've been following up the complaints laid left and right. <laughs> All the cries, like, since the, the our qualification, if you go through the FIFA Facebook page, gosh, it's like it now belongs to the Algerians. Any post FIFA makes the rush in there start laying their complaints start crying start abusing uh football federation president samuel Leto. then the person i pity most in all this case is the referee gosh that's the papa bakari basama the gambian referee that guy gosh like i think in my honest opinion guys i think fifa should really do something about this because it's like they're letting them they're letting them in on so much that was a game 
Like, why those guys were leading when they want us in our country? Like, we didn't go crying, complaining of refill left and right. They were the ones who initially complained. They started really laying complaints about who was going to referee the match. And eventually, as they equalized uh, our goal, they were so happy. Like, there was nothing to complain anymore. Then when we won, it became a, oh, our federation president bribed the referee they came out with fake images left and right guys it's been a roller coaster of emotions and laughter and everything for me so let me finish doing this when i'm doing going to the next step i'll get back to you okay guys so i'm done with anjangsa so here already as you know we have a uh, fish spice we have the fish spice and then our white pepper here as well the darker version the darker combination to the fish spice combine we mix it needs to have a very very good mix Hope you can see, guys. I'm really struggling. And then the the bongo. Let me get water. I add it to this, and we do a good mix. I'll show you. So this is the consistency we need to have. I don't know if you see this properly. Yeah. So in here we have the two combination fish pies. We have our white pepper. We have our njangsa. And we have a bit of bongo to add to the color. Next up, our port is clean and dry. It's supposed to be completely dry. Best to use a flat surface pot. Because if it's a if it's deep, like the fish won't be well placed in the pot. So and it should be airy so the larger the pot the better let's marinate our fish and place it in the pot ready for cooking so guys i'm sorry you can't see you can't see my face as i said if my face needs to show like it will be uh, our video will be so far off it will be so distant told you earlier there is no electricity our darling Ineo is at it again so this video has been filmed out of love out of love guys <laughs> because on the normal day I, I think I should have just shifted everything aside and be like okay fine there's no current so why stress up but I mean for the love of you guys and based on the fact that this had been long 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 overdue Tengo con todas las horas tus mi vida y sus toda mi aurora now we need to add our leaves our dry leaves our bay leaves and our ginger leaves and our pot is ready to start cooking so guys i forgot mentioning you can do your spice in bulk here eh? yeah you can do it in bulk and refrigerate like. okay so this goes for our green sauce and this for our pepper so for the pepper guys lucky enough i have a mortar and pistol the small mortar and pistol i'm going to pound like 
in here has put me on the spot today. Once this melts, I have my black pepper. I have my country onion. You can get it from all our supermarkets here in Cameroon. Do I'm sorry, supermarkets? They already come like this. This is rondel country onion. This is poivre noir black pepper. And I have the sachet pepper. I've just put just a little bit. I just wanted to smell. Just the oil in it. Like I can think about. Mm, five more minutes, and after it should be ready. Guys, it's aromatic talk. So approximately this fish takes about 15 to 20 minutes to be ready. Now let's prep our green sauce and pepper. <laughs> the cereal of the day. <laughs> It's something to kill for. I didn't know this filming a recipe or cook with me video is hard like oh my god I honestly didn't know the side of this whole struggle but I'm glad with all the hurdles like no electricity being home alone because maybe even had, I had someone to hold the camera to zoom in to bring it closer to me at, at certain points in time I guess this video would have been much 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 better I had so many hurdles but notwithstanding I could still film this video till the end I'm so happy you guys I think you've seen the end product mmm mmm it tastes awesome it tastes awesome please let me know if you love if you try this recipe in the comment section at any point in time if you find any difficulty at any stage or guess anything just hit me up on my Instagram, which is Crystal Tangem, my Facebook Crystal Tangem, and I'll let you in on any information or anything else you want to know. So, before you leave, please, you already know the drill. Hit that red subscribe button if you're a newbie in the space, or if I, or if 
you've been watching but have never subscribed before please do subscribe today hit the uh, like button the thumbs up button hit it drop a beautiful comment and most importantly share this video it's a beautiful recipe you can try if you are receiving guests at, at your home it's a beautiful recipe to serve so when you try this recipe please do make sure to come back to this video and drop your comment on how it tastes thank you guys love you you and you see you later later time to eat too. time to eat